A well-known inspiration in entertainment, DJ, dancer, and producer Stephen Twitchboss died by suicide at the age of 40 this week. His death was confirmed on Wednesday. Following his death, KIMT News 3 Samantha Soto spoke to those who represent the black community here in Rochester. They say despite the progress in raising mental health awareness, there are still challenges for people who face for people of color when it comes to seeking out support. A both remarkable and inspiring name in the entertainment industry, Stephen Twitch Boss was a light for many, and taking his own life is bringing heightened awareness to conversations about mental health and the long-standing challenges around seeking professional help. It's a tragic situation, and it's heartbreaking to hear that this has happened. Nashana Johnson works with Journey, a life skills program for teenage youth in Rochester. She believes mental health is not taken seriously in the black community. In Journey, we work with a lot of youth from different cultures. You know, mental health is not a thing and it's not talked about. And so it's, it's not cured. There's no referrals and things like that. And the biggest thing is it needs to come from someone that looks like us. Supervisor for the Olmsted County Diversity, Equity, and Community Outreach Program, Sydney Fry, says as a black male, sharing emotions has often been viewed as a sign of weakness. We've been raised to believe that that kind of discredits um, our, our manhood or masculinity to some degree. And so I think reframing that narrative and, and letting people know that it's okay, actually, that's, that's actually that's a hard thing to do. Um, and so it takes a strong person to do that. Fry says seeing change among the issue is going to take effort. The first step as a community is to check up on one another. Taking it one step further and just asking, you know, like, really, <laughs> how's it going? And, and, and just kind of normalizing that um, approach of, of being inquisitive um, about our well-being. The recent death of Twitch has shown that people don't always know the struggles other people are facing. Johnson hopes we can focus on providing a platform for people of color to have a safe place to talk about their troubles. When you are the person that's giving off light to others, it's hard for you to show that you yourself need help. Like, who do you go to when you're the go-to for the smiles? In Rochester, Samantha Soto, KIMT News 3. If you or someone you know is in emotional distress or suicidal crisis, call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline at 988. We'll have more resources along with this story on our website, KIMT.com.